Hi friends, it's Maura Bela. Welcome back to Baking Time. Today I have a lot of ingredients and a bowl and a spoon that I'm going to use to make cinnamon rolls. They're going to be yummy, yummy buns that are... <laughs> we're going to... We're going to make a dough let it rise and then we're gonna roll it up with cinnamon and sugar and some margarine inside and then we're gonna bake it and it's gonna be yummy cinnamon rolls are you ready to start the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start my yeast rising if you watched our challah video or if you made challah with your family you know that the first thing we do when we start our dough is let our yeast start getting bubbly and foamy so today, I'm actually going to start with some warm milk. This is one cup of milk. I'm actually using almond milk that I warmed up in the microwave and now I can pour into my bowl. Here is my milk. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar because sugar helps my yeast get bubbly and foamy. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Here's my tablespoon of sugar and I can pour it into my bowl. Next, I need one tablespoon of yeast. This is my yeast inside of this Ziploc bag and I can get one tablespoon of yeast and I'll pour it into my bowl. And next I take my spoon and I mix it up. And now I have to wait around two or five minutes to see, to let my yeast get warm and fluffy and ready to make a puffy dough. I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll come back in a couple of minutes when my yeast is ready. Okay, hi again. I let five minutes pass. You didn't see it because I turned off the camera. And now, if you can see, the yeast mixture got very puffy and foamy and that means that my yeast is ready for the other ingredients and then it'll help the dough get re rise really tall. So what are we going to put in next? Next we're going to add oh, some more sugar. I need a half a cup of sugar and that is two of these, one and two. And we can count in Hebrew, we can say echad and and shtaim, two cups of sugar, sukar in Hebrew. What comes next? Now we need to add the butter or margarine. Depends on what you're using. I'm going, I already melted my margarine in the, in the microwave and I'm going to pour it in. Do you see the margarine? It's yellow. Up, ah, and I can pour it. All done. Next comes my vanilla. Next comes my vanilla. And I need one teaspoon of vanilla. Here's one teaspoon. Up, ah, and I can pour it in. And now we need one more wet ingredient before we add our flour. And what is this? This is my egg. I need two eggs in my cinnamon buns. So now I'm going to crack them into my glass. And I'm going to check it if to see if it has any red spots. No red spots. One egg can go into my, into my cinnamon buns. And let me crack the second one. Ah, and let me check. No red spots. Now I can put my egg number two. Now it's time for me to add the flour. Oh, let me first mix the eggs. I almost forgot about that. Mix them in, mix, mix, mix. Up, and now I'm ready for my flour. I need four cups of flour. 
here is my flour and here is my one cup measure so I can measure. Can you count with me? One, echad, and what comes next? Two, stein, and next comes, oh, let me get it, and next comes three, shalosh, and the last cup of flour is number four, arba. Oh, now I have four cups of flour inside my bowl. What comes next? Next I need to add a little bit of salt. I am going to add one teaspoon of salt. This is my teaspoon and this is my salt. Oh, and I can pour one teaspoon in. And next I need one teaspoon of cinnamon. This is the spice called cinnamon. And it make, and that is the whole point of what we're making today. We're making cinnamon buns. So here's my one teaspoon of cinnamon and I can pour it in. Do you wanna take a look at my dough ingredients before I start mixing them up? This is what my bowl looks like. The, the liquid, the wet ingredients are on the bottom and then I have a big tower of flour and salt and a cin the brown cinnamon on top. And now I'm going to start to mix. And while I mix, I can think about the holiday that's coming soon. And we can say, a special Chag is coming soon. A special Chag is coming soon. A special Chag is coming soon. Which one will it be? Let's think. Let's think of some of the Chagim that we already have this year. Is it going to be Sukkot? No, Sukkot was in the fall. Hmm, is it going to be Hanukkah? No, Hanukkah was in the winter when it was still cold and we lit the menorah. It's not going to be Pesach, because Pesach already happened. It's going to be Shavuot. Shavuot is coming soon. Shavuot is coming soon. Shavuot is coming soon. What will we do then? Hmm. And soon, and Shavuot is the day that the Jewish people got the Torah. Right? We have special Torah, special Torah. Let me hold you tight. Teach me, teach me all the mitzvot so I can do what's right. The Torah teaches every Jew. Torah, Torah, I love you. Right? We love the Torah and we say hello to it every day. And now I mixed my dough with a spoon and now it's time for me to take my hands and knead it and mix it with my hands. So to do that, I'm going to get my hands ready with some gloves. One glove. <clears throat> and another glove. Hello, here are my glove hands. And I have a flat cookie sheet that I can use to knead. Before I start, I'm going to put some flour on the bottom to make sure my dough doesn't stick. And I am ready. Let me move some of these ingredients out of the way so you can see it. And now I'm going to take my dough and put it onto this cookie sheet. Do you see it? And now I can knead my dough and I can sing knead, knead, knead my dough today, knead, knead, knead my dough today, knead, knead, knead my dough today, knead my cinnamon rolls. Ah. And I can squeeze it and twist it and do anything I can to help it get mixed up. 
<laughs> All right. And I think I want to sing another song about the Torah because Shavuot is the day that Hashem gave us the Torah as a present. So we can sing, <clears throat> Hashem gave us a present. Do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah, which we all truly love. Right? We love the Torah. Ah. And now I'm kneading my dough. Need, need, need my dough today. Need, need, need my dough today. <clears throat> need, need, need my dough today, need my dough today. And do you see? It's really turning into a soft, stretchy bowl of yummy cinnamon roll dough. And I can twist, twist, twist my dough, twist, twist, twist my dough, twist, twist, Twist my dough, twist my dough today, and I can squeeze, squeeze, squeeze my dough, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze my dough, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze my dough, squeeze my dough today. And now, if you can see my dough, it's really ready for me to leave it aside and let it rise for about one hour so that when I'm ready to turn it into rolls, it will be nice and fluffy. And I'm going to stop the camera again. While my dough is rising, I just put it away to rise, and while it's rising, I'm going to get my cinnamon sugar ready to brush on the inside of my dough, so when I bake, it tastes like yummy cinnamon buns. Are you ready? I got a new bowl and a new fork. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first measure one cup of brown sugar. Do you see this brown sugar? Usually when we use sugar, it's white, but this one is brown. Up, and I'm going to measure one cup of brown sugar. Up, and I can push it in to make sure that it's getting really tight. Almost ready. All right, here is my one cup of brown sugar and I can pour it into my bowl. Next, I'm going to measure, next I'm going to measure one and a half tablespoons of, two and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. This is my tablespoon and I can pour the cinnamon out. Oh, one, I put a little bit too much, so maybe I'll put a little bit less in this second tablespoon. And two, up, oh. and here's my half a tablespoon. And three, one, two, and three. And now I can take my fork and mix it around a little bit before I add my margarine. It's a lot of cinnamon sugar to make my, my cinnamon rolls very sweet. Ah, there's my cinnamon sugar. And now I can add my margarine. Here's a little bit. This is the extras of the, of the roll of the margarine I used before. Ah, and here's the other bit of margarine or butter that I'm going to use. Okay, and now I can mix them in. Oh, and this time I'm going to use my gloves again. I'm gonna put my gloves back on. And I'm going to put my bowl on top of my cookie sheet from last time. And I'm going to mix with my hands to mix all the margarine into the cinnamon sugar. And while I mix, should we sing another song? Let's sing the Aleph Bet. We can sing Aleph Bet Bet, Aleph Bet 
vet. Give them all doll it hay. Give them all doll it hay. Vav zayim chet tet. Vav zayim chet tet. Yud kaf chaf. Yud kaf chaf. Lamin mem nun. Lamin mem nun. Samachayim pei fei. Samachayim pei fei. Zadi kaf rish. Zadi kaf rish. Shin sin taf. And saf. And now I mixed all of my cinnamon sugar into my margarine. And it kind of looks like another dough, but this one I'm going to sprinkle on to my dough. And then when it goes into the oven, it's going to melt and be really yummy and sweet. Okay, now I'll see you again very soon once my dough is all risen and ready to shape. Hi friends, now I'm back. I let our dough rise for about one hour and now it got really big. It used to be very small but then our yeast made it rise to be a good fluffy dough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down on my baking sheet again and I'm going to use my rolling pin to roll it flat up. Do you see? I'm going to roll it and I can roll, roll, roll our dough, roll, roll, roll our dough, roll, 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 roll our dough, roll our dough today. Up and I'm going to turn it and it actually feels very soft. It feels like it's going to be light and fluffy. And now do you see it? It is flat and wide and ready. Up! There's our dough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our topping that I made out of the margin and the sugar and I'm going to sprinkle it all over my dough and I'm going to spread it around just like this oh, and this is what's very sweet and cinnamony so that when it bakes it'll be very yummy and sweet and I think my whole family is really going to enjoy eating it. And I can use my spatula too to spread. Spread my topping, my cinnamon, sugar. And now do you see? My dough is all covered with the cinnamon sugar. And now it's time for me to roll it up and cut it into little mini rolls. Are you ready to watch? I'm going to fold it up and roll it and make a long tube, a long and skinny, it's going to be a little bit fat, tube of dough with my cinnamon sugar inside. Up. Roll, roll, roll. Up. Do you see? It's becoming a long tube. Up. And now I can tuck the other side in and here is my long and skinny roll of cinnamon rolls. Now what am I going to do next? Next I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut my big long roll into a lot of smaller pieces. Are you ready to watch? I'm going to cut it in half first up 
and then in half again. And then one, two, and three. And do you see my little roll of cinnamon? With cinnamon inside, it's a roll of dough with a lot of cinnamon inside. Ah, and I can do more pieces. Here's another piece and another one. This one's the end. And another piece. And I'm going to do that with the rest of mine. Ah. But this one's a lid, needs to be a little bit tighter. There's some more. Here's another one. And another cinnamon bun. And there's another one. And finally, the last cinnamon bun. And a little tiny baby one on the end that I can wrap up. And now, are you ready to count with me? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, and 3, 13 cinnamon buns, shalosh esrei. And now I'm going to put them into another pan and I'm going to bake them. And when I'm done, I'll take a picture and I'll put it on the video. And do you remember we started all the way back in the, with the yeast and the yeast got foamy and then we put in sugar, oh, and we put the yeast with milk and flour and eggs and margarine and then we mixed it up and put on top and put, made the topping and we let our bowl or dough rise and now we made them into beautiful cinnamon buns that I will get to eat when they come out of the oven. Bye friends, thank you for joining me and I hope you had fun watching and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.